Hundreds of migrants, most of whom are likely children, according to immigration officials, have been held in hotels before immediate expulsion under Trump's coronavirus-related border ban, the New York Times reported Sunday. Documents reviewed by the Times revealed that at least 860 migrants were detained by ICE in hotels in states across the U.S., including, a quality suites in San Diego, Hampton Inns in Phoenix, McAllen and El Paso, Texas, a Comfort Suites Hotel in Miami, a Best Western in Los Angeles and an Econo Lodge in Seattle, according to the Times report. By holding migrants in hotel chains instead of formal detention centers, detentions are not restricted by formal policies preventing abuse in federal custody or those requiring that detainees be provided access to phones, healthy food, medical and mental health care, the Times reported. Trump's border closure policy, enacted in response to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic meant to deter illegal border crossings, has contributed to the increase of hotel detentions in the last few months, according to documents obtained by The Times. The border ban has led to the immediate expulsion of more than 100,000 migrants, though, in turn, it also appears to have played a part in the surge of border crossings, in part because it eliminates some of the legal consequences for repeat attempts, The Times reported. The Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency contracted MVM Inc., a private security and transportation company, to assist in detaining the surge of migrants, according to The Times report. The Associated Press first reported on hotel detentions of migrant children last month. Records obtained by the AP showed children as young as one year old typically being held in hotels for several days, under the supervision of untrained transportation workers before being sent back to their home country or handed to child welfare services in Mexico. A transportation vendor should not be in charge of changing the diaper of a one year old, giving bottles to babies or dealing with the traumatic effects they might be dealing with, Andrew Lawrence and Strait a former ICE deputy assistant director who previously worked with MVM, told The Times. I'm worried kids may be exposed to abuse, neglect, including sexual abuse, and we will have no idea. Some children, however, are sent back without any identification numbers, making it close to impossible for parents to track down their children after they are sent back, The Times reported. Parents sometimes send their children to cross the border alone to increase their chances of being granted asylum in the U.S. They've created a shadow system in which there's no accountability for expelling very young children, Leisha Welch, an attorney at the nonprofit National Center for Youth Law, told AP last month. There really aren't enough words to describe what a disgraceful example of sacrificing children this is to advance heartless immigration policies. Quote.